Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to um, uh, show how I uh, add um, some extra storage to my setup. Uh, I needed a solution where I could save audio and video files that, the, that I was capturing. Uh, in my application, currently I don't save any of the frames that I capture with OpenCV from the cameras. But um, at some point, uh, the video uh, uh, I, I might want to save it on a, a, a storage uh, that I can easily remove from the case and uh, take it and attach it to a um, Windows or Linux uh, desktop and um, you know process the files as I need off-site I mean off uh, on another machine on a bigger machine so I've been looking at some solutions that give me an, um, a removable uh, storage solution but at the same time, I wanted to have uh, something that was uh, not a mechanical storage, but uh, SSD, something flash-based. Um, and um, um, so I came up with, a, with this particular, I came across this particular solution uh, that, uh, that I'm going to be uh, talking about in this video. I'm going to switch over to Chrome just to show you the, uh, the SSD. Uh, so I found this uh, uh, NVMe PCIe um, M.2 SSD uh, from uh, Newegg.com. This is a Team Group MP33. Um, again, this is a Team Group MP33 M.2 2280. Um, this particular one that I'm showing on the on the screen has 256 gigabytes for 35.99. I the, when I bought mine, the cheapest I could find, the least expensive one for me was 128 gigabytes, about the same price, maybe a little bit less. But I think it was under 30 dollars at that point. The 128 gig model is not available anymore here, but the the smallest they have is this uh, 256 uh, gigabyte model. So as you can see, it, it has uh, an M.2 connector on this side, and that's the NVMe uh, PCI Express M.2 connector. And it's a solid state drive, um, and it's, it's, um, uh, it's the one that I think uh, would work for me. But um, in order to attach it to the Raspberry Pi 4, um, I found this... Uh, uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A NVMe SSD hard drive adapter converter uh, that also has the M key M.2 PCIe um, uh, adapter. So as you can see here, um, what uh, what I the co the connector closest to the USB is actually uh, where the um, NVMe SSD would get inserted. And uh, this particular adapter will just convert NVMe to PCI Express 3.0 or 3.1. Uh, actually, yeah, this is a 3.1 Gen 2 um, adapter, and it converts PCIe uh, NVMe PCIe with M.2 connector. M.2 connectors that have the M key. So the, the NVMe SSD that, uh, that I mentioned also has the, um, the M key. So this, this side, the adapter, the connector is an M key. So it will fit into this adapter. And uh, this adapter will then just basically convert it to a um, USB drive. Um, so um, it turns out that once it converts into the USB, I can plug it into a USB 3.0 port on the Raspberry Pi. So here is a, an article. I will put a link to all of these in the uh, video description, but these particular ports are USB 3.0 ports of the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see here, the NVMe SSD will go into the adapter that way, and then you can secure it with a uh, with a 
um, screw, um, an M.2 screw, uh, and then um, insert the, um, well, I, what's pictured here is not the adapter that I'm using, but the, the adapter that I'm using is a type A USB 3.1 uh, connector. Um, in this article, they're using a different adapter, uh, but all, all of these adapters are built around this particular chip from Realtek. It's the RTL9210, um, same as the one that I uh, picked. Um, is also built on the um, uh, same uh, Realtek chip, and uh, so what they what they do is they convert um, from uh, USB to NVMe. So here, uh, in these pictures, as you can see, the NVMe SSD will connect into the M.2 connector, and then the adapter will then convert it to uh, USB. In this particular picture, you're seeing a USB-C, but uh, there is another version, and that USB-C model is also available, I guess, here too. Oh no, okay. So this particular one, uh, the one, one reason I picked this one is because I actually ordered the USB Type-C one because it just comes with a free C to A. It's I'm actually it's it's actually even more, maybe it's a little bit a dollar more but for a dollar more I get this extra USB-C to A adapter and I could use that for whatever um, in my kit on the Raspberry Pi I don't need that um, USB-C to USB-A adapter but as for a dollar extra I just ordered this particular model and we'll, so what I'm doing is I'm going to insert the NVMe drive, uh, the SSD drive into here, and then this matches the USB 3 port that is available on the Raspberry Pi. But going back to this article, this article basically describes how, um, how this can be done, and it gives a little bit more context and some measurements of, the, um, of it. But just keep in mind that this is not the adapter that I'm using, but it is the same chip, same Realtek chip. There's also another article that I found is re uh, that talks about the same thing. And uh, this is showing the, the same adapter that I'm using uh, here. It, the one I'm using is uh, the re RII top, Retop. Um, so it's this name here, as you can see, the Retop adapter. So uh, let me switch to the overhead camera and um, I can show you. I have already installed uh, the, um, I've installed the uh, NVMe um, SSD in the uh, USB adapter. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it into this port on the USB on the Raspberry Pi. But as you can see, it's a little wide. So I won't be able to insert it if there's a, the adjacent port is used. But in any case, um, I will not be able to, in my setup, I will not be able to insert it directly in here because of, the, of where this, setup, this, this equipment will be in a smaller box. So it, it, it would not have this much room to uh, to stick out. So what I'm going to do is actually use a um, USB extension cable and I'm easily then I can plug the USB extension cable here and then come to the other side of it and uh, plug the um, plug this uh, uh, that way plug the SSD adapter that way. So now the NVMe drive is uh, connected to the um, Raspberry Pi and it's going through this extension. I'm just gonna, I guess, let it sit here because I have to figure out how I would secure it. But that setup, um, with that setup, if I boot up the Raspberry Pi, I've already formatted this uh, SSD 
and I've formatted it uh, with the NTFS, which is um, which gives me the, the ability to take this SSD out and plug it either into a Windows machine or a Linux machine. So uh, by using NTFS, I have that flexibility. I could I could take the the videos and audio that I record and take it to any machine machine type that I want. But in any case, I'm going to turn on the Raspberry Pi and uh, uh, wait for it to boot and then come back and take a look at it from the desktop. Okay, the Raspberry Pi has booted and I'm gonna switch to the desktop here. And as you can see, um, the um, Raspberry Pi is showing uh, the, um, the USB NVMe um, drive is mounted here. Uh, it's showing it on the desktop and uh, I can open it and uh, there's really nothing on it. Uh, so, uh, but it's, it's appearing in the, um, in the, um, in the system. And if I do a DF-H, uh, you can also see that it was mounted. It has 128 gig. And like I said, my model is 128 gig and it's mounted here. That's the name I gave it. And it's mounted under my username as slash media slash pi slash USB NVMe. So basically if I save any files onto it, uh, then um, I can, I can, uh, shut the system down and remove it. I can also eject it because it's a USB drive. I can basically just close it, close this and eject. And uh, it should be safe to uh, remove with the system uh, on. So basically all I have to do is to just um, re remove the cable or remove the adapter and, and that's it. I can take it uh, without having to shut down the uh, the Pi itself. And I'll switch over back to the Pi desktop and you can see it's still running. But uh, if I were to um, uh, run the DF command, uh, the, the disk doesn't appear anymore. Now I'm going to do another test of actually just to see what happens if I plug it back in while the system is on. I haven't tried this, so we'll see what happens if it can find it find it live and it seems like yes uh, it, it detected that the, um, the media was inserted and it's asking me what do I want to do with it so I'm going to open it again in the file manager and as you can see it it, it appeared on the desktop so this uh, seems like a good solution for me um, I've been thinking about uh, at, you know uh, integrating it now I'm thinking that it could actually fit under the fit under this because uh, uh, the, uh, the way I have uh, the way I have the Raspberry Pi I have it sitting uh, mounted onto this uh, Raspberry Pi adapter from uh, Clearwater Conceptions and then that's sitting uh, that's connected to this uh, backplane which is the six inch by six inch backplane and in the, the case of the in the other case that I have the the portable case uh, it's a different backplane, but regardless, uh, this is pretty much the same setup that I have, but there is room uh, under, under here on this side where I could actually uh, put it there. Or I could find a way to, to just leave it in a place where I can easily remove it when I need to. But um, I hope this information was uh, useful. I think this might be uh, become part of the setup for me in at some point, but uh, I wanted to have it in the picture so I can be um, experimenting with it. Again, uh, I hope it was uh, useful and uh, see you in the next video. Take care.